five thrift store Friday. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf and it's five thrift store Friday. Yes, it's five thrift store Friday. We'll be hitting up five thrift stores today. We're gonna start at Thrift Giant Old Thrifty Pants. We're gonna run in there and see what kind of goodies they got. And hopefully, just hopefully, we'll find some vintage toys in there. That's always the name of the game. Now, the thing is, my buddy Keith, you guys know Keith. Keith told me last night, he goes, hey, I was over at Thrift Giant in Louisville. This was yesterday. And he goes, and they had Jack She. So like, I don't know if there's anything in here or not. I'm hoping maybe between the time he was here and the time that I'm here, they stock the shelves up. But hey, we got five thrift stores to hit up today. So we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and we're gonna pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. Oh, look at this. Right out the gate, man. It's our boy, Buzz. Shield your eyes. All right, well, what do we got here? We got a Roblox MM2 Shark Seeker. That's kind of cool looking, man. That is brand new in the box. I wonder if that's worth something. Um, what do we got here? We got a tabletop pool table. That well, looks fun. All right, they went $8.99 for that. They sell for about $25, bucks, but that also includes free shipping. So there's not a lot of meat on the bone. So we'll pass on that. Oh, what do we got here? Transformers. Oh, that's a bubble bath. <laughs> oh, wow, look at all these Legos. 55 bucks for that, wow. And then we've got this Lego box here. Let's see. $40 for that. And then we've got a box of toys over here. Oh, look, it's another Buzz Light here. <laughs> That guy is everywhere. What do we got in here? There's a rescue heroes, a shark. Looks like some sort of transformer, maybe. Man, we've got a Power Ranger down below. We've got a golden elephant. All right, anything on this side? I'm not really seeing anything. Oh, there's a Pac-Man arcade in there. And it's actually making noise. Oh, and they got another, another little like keychain arcade that's all ripped up though. All right, look, I dug this thing out. Let's see if we can, oh, there, I turned it off. Well, I thought I turned it off. I was trying to save, save the batteries. Is there an on-off switch? Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, see, your boy did a good deed for the day. What's this? Two-in-one shoots, shoots webs or water oh wow that's cool hey this is a pretty sweet score this thing sells for like 35 bucks and they want just 3.99 for it so i'm gonna snag it and looks like we got a megazord i actually have this one already and we've got finn i'll oh, check this dude out oh man he's got a broken jaw that sucks, that was cool looking. What do we got here? Oh man, we've got Bane. Oh my God. For those of you that are longtime subscribers of the channel, you probably know that I have seen this guy in Target in a two pack with Batman and they've wanted like 20 bucks for it. And I wanted it just because of Bane and I never pulled the trigger on it. And here he is in the thrift store. And I can get him for $5.99. It's a little pricey. He should be like $2.99. But I can't pass this up, man. This is like a this is like a dream come true. And what else do we got? We got some Star Wars. We got Hulk. I like that face sculpt on him. And we've got our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Oh, look at this. We also have King Shark. He's a little beat up, but. He's pretty cool, man. I wonder if they want, probably want $5.99 for him too. I think I'm gonna grab him. Oh, see, they only want $3.99 for him. All right, even better. 
got this little robot dude. We've got some more Star Wars. Oh, that's Han Solo from uh, the movie Solo. And we got some more Marvel over here. And look at all these creepy doll heads. Oh my gosh, how'd you like to walk into a room and have all these doll heads just staring at you? Creepy. Uh, check out this Minnie Mouse. What does she do? Looks like she maybe spins around or something. And what's this? Star Wars Build the Millennium Falcon Deluxe Paper Model Kit. Oh, that's cool. $4.99. Hmm, I don't know if that's worth something. It might be worth flipping. It's not anything I want to keep. What's this over here? Uh, flying paper planes. And then digital weather station, huh? Oh yeah, check that out. All right, so this is a uh, spinning mini handheld toy. So it's got a little button here on the side. You push it and then her skirt spins around. <laughs> uh, looks like people are trying to sell it for about 15 bucks, but uh, they want $3 for it. I'm gonna pass on it. Oh, check out this La La Loopsie. Yeah, she's got some major Medusa hair. Oh, check this out. It's a neon football helmet. The Colts. Man, that'd be awesome if it was Pittsburgh Steelers. But this could be worth something. These neon signs can be worth quite a bit. I found one time that said the word hustle on it. And it sold for like 200 bucks. I got it at Goodwill for like, I don't know, $10 or something. But um, yeah, let me look this up. Well, I was kind of hoping it would be worth a lot more, but it's only worth about 24 bucks, 25 bucks. Um, I didn't find this one exactly, but I found a Washington Redskins one and it only sold for 25. So we're gonna pass on that. Wish it was worth more. Well, check out that American Graffiti diecast collection. There's also a dirt double truck there, Kenny Wallace, but that American Graffiti thing looks cool. All right, guys, <laughs> we picked up a few scores. Let's jump in the car and do a little show and tell. All right, first up, we've got King Shark Hammerhead. Look how badass this dude looks. Now, he's got like these marks all over him, but what I'm gonna do with him is I'm gonna customize him and I'm gonna look make it look like he just had a feeding frenzy. I'm gonna make his teeth bloody, his chest more bloody, his face, like hopefully it turns out really cool. Um, I think that's, uh, you know, I can try and, Get these marks off maybe with an eraser or something like that but uh i think it'd be best to maybe just try and customize this guy but man this is badass and i also got bane oh man i've been wanting this figure for so long just didn't want to pay the 20 bucks i did see it on clearance one day at target and i just passed on it but yeah check that out man i got me a bane wow how cool is this thing two in one shoots webs and water sells for like 35 bucks and we got it for a big three dollars and 99 cents so this will probably go up on my ebay store even though part of me wants to bust this thing out of the package and do a little web slinging in the living room i don't think nicole would appreciate the mess i would make with this but this thing is super awesome all right up next we head off to goody wheel to see what kind of goodies they got all right my friends we are here man and there's quite a few cars in the parking lot it's about seven or eight that's not usual <laughs> but hey what you got for me today goody will what you got for me today <laughs> hopefully you got that vintage goodness that i'm looking for we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray that the vintage goodwill gods are good to me today and uh, man, I'm in the mood for some jazz. I feel like we're off to a great start this morning. I'm very happy. Even if we don't score nothing the rest of the day, I'll consider this a successful trip just because of that bane. That's awesome. All right, well, let's see what these guys got. Let's see, what do we got down here? New York City edition. And Alphabet. What is this, Optimus Prime? <laughs> no not even close all right anything down below there's a is that rainbow dash i think so yeah she's got a broken neck or something well it doesn't look like there's anything in plushy land either so i think we're gonna call it a day here but look at the size of this thing holy crap 
That is huge. All right, guys. Busted. Busted at the Goody Wheel. Up next, Thrift Shitty, baby. All right, my friends. We are here. We are at the infamous Thrift City. Oh, yeah. We are going to keep our fingers crossed and pray that the vintage thrift gods are good to me today. We're going to get in here. We're going to check the glass case. We're going to check the shelves. We're going to rummage through some bags. All in hopes of finding some vintage toys vintage 70s toys vintage 80s toys maybe even some retro 90s toys let's see what they got all right well the baggy section is looking weak let's see what's on the shelves i'll check out this monster truck jungle 4x4 that thing looks cool anything else on the shelves oh there's a luke skywalker without his lightsaber. I mean, he's got the the handle, but no actual saber. Just like Darth Vader, just like your dad. You never have your light, your lightsaber. Now check out this build and play military attack. Hmm, that looks kind of neat, man. Kind of digging that. Is that a actual plastic? Yeah, I think it is. It's an actual plastic tank with like some oh yeah look at that like little puzzle pieces well it's a good thing i opened this because the tank is missing and it doesn't have any of the little figures there's something there unless they're, unless they're underneath uh, no all right yeah we'll be leaving this behind oh risk three ways to play yeah i love this game as a kid, I haven't played it in years. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. All right, well, let's see. Do we got anything in here today? Uh, no, nothing. Well, let's at least see if we can find some cool VHS tapes. Looking mainly for like old cartoons. The Family Network, Winnie the Pooh. Tweety Christmas. We got a Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree. All right. Busted. Up next, Thrift Giant. Let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at Old Thrifty Pants over off of Mill Street in Louisville. We're about to head in here check the shell see what kind of goodies they got keep our fingers crossed and pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today all right well let's see what do we got on the shelf oh look at this thing that looks like it would shoot like real bullets <laughs> it's like a gatling gun or something um what else what else uh, we got a couple of robots up here oh this little dude's interesting Hey, look, it's another pound puppy. <laughs> Man, I got a little collection of these things going now. Jeez, this is from two th yeah, 2019 as well. All right, well, I think we're going to pick this guy up because I've got two others at the house. This will make three. Oh, dang. Look, Buzz is passed out from a night of heavy drinking. All right, look, here's the deal. I've got a hangover. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, he's kind of beat, man. He's been through some, been through some battle, and it's uh, King Shark's brother. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, that's kind of cool. So you can build like these emblems and faces and stuff. Yeah, that's neat. What's this? Space checkers. Oh, it's checkers. Got a little Kung Zhu action down here. It's like a vehicle for Kung Zhu. Spider skull tank. Nice. All right, well, let's pick this guy up. All right, guys, well, we just adopted a puppy, a pound puppy. All right, let's head off to Goody Will and finish up our rounds over there. All right, my friends, final destination. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? <laughs> Hopefully, 
we walk out of here with an, em an, an no, not an empty, <laughs> almost said empty, an epic. Oh man, dude, that slip of the tongue could have cost you. An epic vintage toy score. Keep our fingers crossed and pray that the vintage Goodwill gods are good to me today. All right, well, let's see, what do we got? That is cool looking. Oh, that's like a remote control boat. You got like a little race car set. Oh yeah, I remember having something like that when I was a kid. That's cool. All right, what else we got here? Here's a tank, special forces. We've got a Hannah Montana locker lock. Check out this thing. It's like surface to air missile launcher. What's this? This is some sort of a uh, skateboard. Looks like we got a monster truck there on the back. What's this? Little miniature spider, or not Spider-Man, Superman. Superman Frisbees. Those are actually kind of neat. Um, oh, we got a spider cycle. Hmm, what's in this bag? Uh, nothing we really want. Hey, look at this. We got a Sentinel-1 submarine. That's actually a little different than the one I had. Oh, it actually has its missiles in the back here too. Check that out. All right, we're not gonna get that, but that is cool. Any cool plushies in plushy land? Got this dude here. I'm not really seeing anything, not on this side anyway. Is that a Snoopy? Oh yeah, it's a Snoopy. How about on this side? What's this dude? Oh, he's like a Texas Roadhouse armadillo. <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna find one of those My Pet Monsters on the shelf. I'm constantly on the lookout for that. You might be a redneck if, I like the artwork on that. What else we got? Space Alert and just some games that I'm not interested in. This graffiti, oh, it's got garbage in it, nasty. That is, uh, that's cool though. It actually reminds me of uh, the backdrop to parents just don't understand. So to you other kids all across the land, there's no need to argue. Parents just don't understand. You know, Will Smith's The Fresh Prince, his song from back in the 80s, he had that backdrop with all that graffiti on it. That's what this reminds me of. Wow, look at this old movie projector. An oldie but a goodie. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this down here. Four F4U4 Corsair. Sometimes these puzzles, or not puzzles, these uh, model kits can be worth a little bit of money. I'm gonna check on this one. All right, so we're gonna snag this. They want five bucks for it. That's a little on the high side, I think. Should be more like $2.99. But uh, these things sell for about 25 bucks, so we're gonna grab it and flip it on eBay. Wow, look at this old alarm clock. That is really cool, man. I don't know if it still works or not, but actually let me try winding it so i don't think it works i'm going to take it home play with it a little bit more i'm definitely going to get it they only want like four bucks for it and i saw where it sold for like 35 dollars but i think it's just really cool it's vintage and i think it would look great in the bunker so i'm gonna grab it all right guys so we're walking out of there with a couple of sweet scores something to pay a little gas money to pay for today's trip. I can flip this pretty quick on eBay. I saw there was a bunch of them selling and check this out. <laughs> I kind of sort of got it working. It's at least, the alarm is at least going off. Now I just need to get it to actually, you know, tick and get the hands moving. But hey, if you've enjoyed watching this content as much as I've enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash that like button. That really helps me out. It really does helps my channel grow. And check out this next video. I know you're gonna love it.